Let's go. Welcome back. Tuesday night. Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday night. I'm going to pull up a chessboard and play some five minute puts. Let's go. On it is playing a bit of a possum. Is this going to be what is this? Ready to castle? Castle, no hassle. Okay, pre moving here. Pawn takes, knight takes. Instead of all that, my opponent just plays c6. Maybe the queen wants to slide out here, maybe here. Always useful. I'll leave the plan. I play this with the idea of playing this if the queen comes out, making the queen feel a little uncomfortable. Or do I just start taking here in the center? Both kings are castled. We both have the sort of inactive rooks and bishops on their starting squares. Yeah, I'm going to go for this idea. I'm expecting queen to come here to b6. No, pawn to just pawn b6. A very slow play by my opponent. Maybe Fian shadowing this bishop. Very strange. I don't get it. I don't think I want to open up because then that improves the queen. Okay, bishop's gonna transfer onto this diagonal. And the knight's gonna reroute this way. Dropping the bishop back was important before moving the knight. And I have a defender here. Now I can defend here twice again. Everything's defended. Bishop goes back. This is a very nice defensive bishop. Do I want to play b4 or just b3? I'm just going to play b3. b3, sorry. Just a lot of maneuvering here. Okay, if we can trade off knight for the queen, this knight is blocking its bishop, its counterpart. Love to get rid of this knight. But more than likely, yeah, my opponent doesn't take and is just going to replace the knight if I take here. And I will. Ooh, I had a check. I had this nice check. Knight comes here. And then potentially you can trade off the bishops. But now I'm just going to try to trade off the bishops the old-fashioned way. Let's go. Yeah. Bishop can drop back because the rook is slide, slide it over. Uh, very likely, yeah, bishop's going to drop back. Um, but now... No, I still don't even have this. Not threatening here because you can just take with the knight. It's a time to lash out with this f5, f4. Or first... No, I'm gonna play this aggressive f4. And then maybe lift this rook and then bring this rook on a to f1. Meanwhile, I'm down about a minute and 30 seconds. Way too much talking. Okay, here I can push past because you can't take, because then I have this check here, this very scary check. But if you can't push past, uh, taking isn't that great either because I can just check anyways so my opponent's just gonna let that be yeah here definitely gonna open up the c file rook wants to come onto the c file 
getting the rook onto the c-file. Just quickly, is this stronger to play this right away? When is if pawn takes... Uh, there's no check. I'm going to bring the rook to the c-file. Then maybe this check could be useful after takes. Uh, that's a move. It's unexpected. I have to take here. But I'm gonna go for this idea. And pre-moving here. No, no, no. That, don't pre-move here. Okay, just grab the queen. That'll do it. Could I have taken that queen earlier? Yes, I could have taken that queen much earlier. Queen was loose for how many moves? Okay, it's hitting my queen, so... Yeah, here at the move was just take the queen. But I played along. Now... Doubling rooks here. Going for this check. Mm, rook may come back. No, I'm gonna play this check. Pre move here. King has to go to one of these two squares. Uh, bishop is defended by the queen. I'm gonna check here. Now, the queen's coming in. There's a spite check here. Oops, sorry about that. Spite check here. King comes here. You can push the pawn. Okay, the check here. King has to go to the corner. And then this is mate here. Let's go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you next time. Cheers.